Welcome to today's episode of Positively Crafty. Today we're going to be making a quote canvas and the quote is, the world belongs to those who read. Now you will have gotten four things in your kit if you signed up and registered for it. One will look like this. You can't see it in the video well, but they are stickers that have the quote printed out on them, the canvas, a paintbrush, and some paint. Now, the canvas, this is my partially completed one because I wanted to show you that this bottom part is about four layers of paint. The top is one and the middle is about two layers. And once you get it to the color that, that you would like, you will pull off the stickers, which I'll show you how to do. But you'll want to decide and you'll have to wait for it to dry in between each round of paint as well. Otherwise you're just going to brush the paint off. So to start with, you're going to line some paper towels or newspaper, old magazine, whatever on the surface that you're going to be doing this on so that you do not get paint all over it. And then the first step is to take your quote stickers and place them on your canvas in whichever order you fancy. So the first one I did, you can see it's kind of really close to the top and I wish it had been lowered a little bit more, but I didn't want to take the time to take them off and re-stick them. With these stickers, since they're made of vinyl, you can remove them if you would like to, just to re make sure that they are in the place that you want for your final project. You also might want to take a sheet of paper or even the top of your stickers and use it to line up the words so that they are straight. If you want them to be crooked, you don't have to do that. You could do all the letters at different heights as well. Alright, so I have one word on there and I'm going to fast forward and do the rest of the stickering and let you do yours. As you can see, I have finished adding my stickers to my canvas. They're also spaced out differently than the original one, partially because I did not like the way that the first one was all the way at the top, and also because the font is different on the stickers that I have cut out for us to use now rather than the original one. Now, you want to make sure that the stickers are actually on there pretty heavily, thickly, so that you can see how some of the paint bled through on some of mine. I don't think I had the stickers down quite far enough on there. So, you'll want to make sure that you get them on there nice and thickly, and then take your paint and simply add some to the canvas. Then your paintbrush, spread the paint so that it's in even layers or not even layers if that's how you would prefer it to be. You also could use a different color if you have more paint at home and if you wanted to do this project in the future you could do this with different quotes, different fonts. I cut out these letters with our Cricut at the library, but if you don't have a Cricut or a similar device at home, you could just go to the craft store and get different alphabet letters from there as well and use those, though I would be mindful that those probably will not come off quite as easily as these if you have messed up putting them on. So you want to be more careful with them. Okay. 
as you can see, I've finished my first layer of paint. A couple of things I'd like to note. There is an edge to your canvas, so you want to decide whether you want that painted or not. You don't want to paint one side of the canvas and then forget the top part. You'll want to make it consistent throughout. Another idea is before you put your stickers on, you could paint the canvas one color, say neon green, and then put the stickers on top of that and paint over the green a different color, like the blue. And have, once you peeled off the stickers, you would have green lettering behind with the blue front. Okay, so for this one, I just did one coat of paint and it painted more evenly, so I'm just going to leave it like that so I can show you guys how to take off the stickers. It's a real simple, you literally just peel the stickers off. And since they're vinyl, kind of like those windows clings that you put in your car, they still are perfectly fine if you wanted to reuse them and do a second canvas or on a different medium as well. And you are just going to go through and remove all of the stickers. Okay, I forgot to mention before that you want to make sure that the paint is completely dry before you take off the stickers, otherwise the paint can bleed into where they were at. And you'll probably end up with paint all over your hands. And this is our final project. It's all ready for you to give to your friend who's a reader or for you to put on your own wall.